Hey everybody, in today's quick video, I'm gonna show you how to reset your key fob after you're done changing the batteries. If you change the batteries and you notice the buttons don't work to lock or unlock your car, or even sometimes start your car, it's best to reset it. It's pretty universal across all newer cars, so let's jump right into it. Okay, so there's lots of different key fobs out there, makes, models of cars, but they're pretty universal. Yours may have a button here that you press and it spring loads, uh, you know, ejects the key out, or you may have a mechanical key that's hidden if you push this button and then pull out, you have your mechanical key. All you wanna do is get to your driver's side door, put in your key, and then rotate it clockwise and then counterclockwise. So you're gonna lock it and unlock it and do it about six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. That usually resets it, so let's just check it out. Yep, it's back working. Okay, so now if you're able to get in your car, but your car is just not starting, if it's cranking, but just not turning over, maybe because the car is not sensing your actual key fob because you need to reset it inside the car as well. Now, depending on what make and model you have, you may just have a push button start. Um, if, it, if you just have that, you're gonna wanna locate where the actual ignition is, where you can insert your mechanical key. On most cars, if you open up the glove box, it's gonna be on the left-hand side. There should be a little spot for your key. You're gonna insert that and then do the same thing we did on the driver's side door. You're gonna go clockwise, counterclockwise, on, off, on, off, usually six to eight times. And you should hear either a chime, like an audible chime sound, or you'll hear the, the door locks lock and unlock. That means the reset has been done. All right, just for another example, demonstrational purposes, I have a Jeep here. It has a chipped key. It's not a key fob, but there's still a transponder inside. So like I was showing on my Kia, what you're gonna wanna do is take your key, put it in your ignition, and switch it to the on position to where you can see all your dash lights, and then just switch it off. Back on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. Usually it takes about six to eight times, and your door locks should cycle. That's when you know the reset's been successful, or you're able to start your car and your key fobs back working like it should. So this works for the majority of vehicles. I'd love to hear if it worked for yours. Please comment below what vehicle you have and if it worked or did not work. If it did work, please give it a thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.